Hey, what's up? It's Madeline Paquette. If you missed the offer of wines online on our site, I wanna walk you through how to choose the wines out at your local wine store. If you can find a local retailer who's small and indie, they're usually willing to help you person to person and it's really super awesome. But if you don't have that in your area, a big box place such as Total Wine has a lot of selection and what better excuse than right now to use it to get your wines. A wine retail store at this size can seem intimidating at first, but we've got a goal, so let's get to it. Let's go hunting for our first bottle of wine, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, preferably from Marlborough. Okay, so I had some trouble finding it because there is no New Zealand section here, but I did find a Sauvignon Blanc section, and within that, I found a bunch of New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. All right, so I really wanna find a wine that's by an independent producer that maybe has their own vineyards. That's usually someone who really cares and is in it for the long run. So I found this wine, Grey Rock. Let's see if this is actually one of these bottles. Well, Grey Rock, if you look on the back label, you can look up who the producer is and who it's imported by. This is gonna be information you'll see on there. Um, if you look on this one, it says it's produced by 90 plus LTD, whoever that is, and that it's uh, imported by Grey Rock Wines. So the producer, Grey Rock, is actually the importer. This is an importer's brand name. And the actual producer is this 90 plus LTD. To me, this sounds a little fishy, and I'm probably not gonna pick this bottle. Ah, oh, but check this out. I know this producer well. And if you look at the back label, it says, it's by Love Block Vintners, family owned, estate grown wine. This is a perfect choice for the tasting. Okay, so next wine we're looking for is California Chardonnay. And it started back there. And it's going, and going, and going. So let's dial in your options. Look for wines between 20 and 30 US dollars and make sure that your California Chardonnay has seen some oak aging. This is a great option and it's only 24 bucks. I just bumped into Heidi. Notice she's got a white shirt on. If you're at Total Wine, apparently there's a secret to finding someone to help you. If they're wearing black shirts, that means they're merchandisers. If they're white shirts, they're, that's because they're managers and they're really into wine. Yes, look for us. Now let's find the French Cote de Rhone slash GSM blend. If you don't know what GSM stands for, it's Grenache, Syrah, Morved. We're really looking for a wine that has mostly Grenache and probably shouldn't cost too much more than 20 bucks a bottle. All right, check out this one. It has 65% Grenache, 70% Grenache, and 30% Cinso. That'll do nicely. Whoa, Jeb gave this one 90 points and it's only 13 bucks. 80% Grenache, 20% Syrah. For our next wine, let's go to Italy, to Tuscany, and find a decent Sangiovese. Don't buy this unless you really like the bottle. I think you can find a pretty decent Chianti Classico Reserva, so it's got a little bit of age, for under 30 bucks, about. Let's see if we can find one. Here we go. Here's another choice. This is a well-known producer. Seems suckling like this one. I don't know about you, but I like his sense of taste. I'd also try a Chianti Rufina Reserva too. For our next wine, we want a Tempranillo from Spain, probably from Rioja or Ribera do Duero. The real thing here to keep in mind is to get something with a little bit of age. Tempranillo tastes great aged. Thus, you're probably gonna wanna get a Reserva level wine because in Rioja, they actually have some aging rules with that classification terminology. All right, I found one. This wine is not technically a Reserva, but look how old it is. This is gonna be a great wine to try. This one right here is a major producer who's always putting out consistent wines. Look, 2010 vintage. 
This is a great find. And it's only 20 bucks a bottle. For our last wine, I picked Washington State Red Blends. And that means a blend between Cabernet Merlot, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, or Malbec. Any number one of those. Usually a Cabernet Sauvignon dominant or Merlot dominant red wine. Now, there's gonna be a lot to choose from, so I rounded it down to Washington State and expect to spend over $30 and possibly over $40 a bottle to find exactly the perfect one. Ooh, I'm a huge fan of these guys. Super solid wine. All right, we made it out with our wines. Let's go set up the tasting. Woo!